What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back with another video and today, finally, I have a box. Not only is it a box, it is a box with a live animal in it. Now you may be wondering what could that live animal be? Well, if you've been uh, following along with the channel, you saw that I did a very cool cage build and this is the Amazon tree boa from Riley's Reptiles, link in the description to all of Riley's stuff. Go check him out, he has some amazing animals as you will see. This thing is uh, pretty crazy, but I've also heard it's pretty mean, so, you know, probably gonna, probably gonna be a pretty fun unboxing. I'm also sorry that it's a kind of a weird angle. I left my uh, wide angle lens at Brian's, and I, brought by Brian, and I brought Brian's lens home by accident, but I already mailed him his back, so I'm shooting with a 50 millimeter, uh, so it's just kind of hard to get a good angle. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So once I get this guy out, um, I still don't have my cage completely done. I just need to get heat, lights, um, and a thermostat. I have some of those things coming tomorrow. So he's going to be in a temporary tub enclosure just for, you know, maybe a couple weeks, something like that. I need to get the plants and everything still. So here he is. We just got some, uh, some foam, heat pack. That's always good. It wasn't super cold, but, uh, you know, still cold enough. And here he is. So this is an adult Amazon tree boa. And uh, like I said, I've heard that he's not the friendliest, and he still doesn't have a name, so comment down below what you guys think a good name for this guy would be, because, you know, I'm super excited to have him, but I don't have a name for him yet. Ooh, I can also feel his head is right here. So this is going to be interesting. So, let's go ahead and get it open. Oh, yeah. It's definitely crazy looking. And his head is definitely right here. So let's see, maybe he'll just maybe he'll just come on out and I can avoid a bite. There he goes. So you guys can see he's yellow and black and oh he's turning on me. Yellow and black, super, super pretty pattern on him. Uh, he already looks like he wants to bite me. Oh yeah, you guys can see him. He's he's Sing up. Looks like he wants to take a pop at me. Maybe he's just like, what the hell is going on? I just came out of a box. But uh, yeah, let me get him out. <laughs> That was close, almost got me right in the fingers. Slash the face. Uh, now he's geared right at my face, so let me get him out and then I'll give you guys a better look. All right, so that's just, like I said, his little temporary tub that he's gonna live in, just for, uh, just for a couple days or, I don't know, maybe a little bit longer than that, but he'll be perfectly good in there. He's gonna have heat and a thermostat and everything. Plenty of little PVC branches. Let's take a closer look. There he is in all of his beauty. Like I said, that beautiful yellow and black pattern. He looks super cool. He's uh, definitely not the happiest guy at the moment, but I absolutely love him. Can't wait to get him a name. Like I said, comment down below what you think his name should be. And uh, can't wait to get him out of that little temporary tub and into the sexiness. Hey guys, ignore the fact that I look like a mess, please, but I finally got heat set up in the new enclosure. I still don't have any live plants in there, but that is coming, I promise. I'm gonna go ahead and take him out of his little temporary tub and we will release him into the new enclosure. So I got him out. Um, he's being pretty good, but I'm doing this one-handed because I also have to film. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, try to get him into the enclosure right now. See if he'll just let go. I got water in there for him and everything. Oh, he bit the microphone, Jesus. God, that was so close to my face. He literally just bit the microphone. Oh my God, now he's looking at me. Please don't bite me. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys down real quick. Oh, real quick. Oh. God, he just tried to bite me in the face. I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, I'm gonna set this down real quick. Whew. Uh, that was sketchy. Super sketch, but now he's going in. So yeah, I've got a little thermostat in here. Again, it's not how it's gonna be forever because that's a loose wire. I don't really want that in there, but yeah, he's uh, just going in, kind of exploring around. God, that was so sketchy. He literally bit the microphone and then almost got me in the face. But uh, yeah, there he is, released into his new enclosure. He looks awesome in there. Well, now that we got the snake, like I said, who still needs a name, moved into his new enclosure, uh, I think we should go ahead and try to feed him. He's been here now for, I don't know, like two weeks, I think. Um, so he should be, not two weeks, like 10 days. So he should be more than well settled in enough to uh, eat. Shout out to Cold Blooded Cafe, link in the description. They hooked me up with some weaned rats, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and try to feed him. I don't have tongs, so I'm gonna have to do it with my hand, which is 
gonna be interesting. Hopefully he grabs the rat and not my hand, because if he grabs my hand, it's not gonna feel very good. But Kelsey's gonna film for me and we're going to try to get the new Amazon tree boa fed. All right, so there's the rat. Let's go ahead and see if he is going to eat. Hey bud, I don't know where his head's at. Oh, wow, well, it's literally right there. All right, let's see if he's gonna be interested. Poking out a little bit. Again, I just really want to make sure he gets the rat and not my hand. He's definitely interested in it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. There we go, he took it. Nice. Look at that, he's definitely got it. He doesn't have the best grip on it. He did take it. So let's hope now he can just get a perfect grip and uh, take it down. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I've been filming this video over the course of, I don't even know, maybe like a couple months now. And uh, I don't think I said in the beginning of the video, I know I said the snake came from Riley's reptiles, which it did, Riley did. I don't know if he produced it, but it came from Riley. But the person that actually got me the snake was uh, Forrest Fanning. Some of you might know him as Zoo Dreams. That's what his handle is on, uh, or was on Instagram and I guess just Instagram, um, but he owns Cold Blooded, Caf Cold Blooded Cafe, who I'd mentioned before. They hooked me up with a the pack of rats to uh, to feed him. Um, and as most of you probably know by now, I guess some of you may not know, um, Forrest uh, Forrest passed away. Um, at the time that I'm filming this, he passed away about a week ago now, I think, which sucks, man. Me and Forrest met almost two years ago now, I think, at a reptile show, um, but we had talked, you know, prior to meeting, but it wasn't until that we met that we actually, um, we became pretty good friends. You know, me and, me and Forrest talked almost daily, um, not every single day, but you know, we, we talked often about reptiles and snakes and alligators and all kinds of cool projects that he had, but things like sneakers too. We crazy bonded over sneakers. I tried to get him, you know, every pair of Yeezys that came out, he would always text me and be like, hey dude, do you, do you think you can get those for me and Dez? I was usually pretty successful. I think that he liked that about me. I'm pretty good at getting shoes when I need to. Um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of the time that me and Forrest spent together, we didn't really film a lot. I don't know why. I mean, we filmed some stuff, which you guys will see in a, in a couple minutes. I don't have a ton of footage with him, and I, I honestly don't even have a ton of pictures with him. We have a few, but uh, not that many. And I still don't really know what to think about everything. It's like I said, it's been about a week now, but it just, it still doesn't seem real to me, I guess. Like we had just talked like, literally the day before he died. We, we talked on Instagram about some sneakers and I just seen him at Arlington, the Arlington show a few weeks ago. You know, me and Desiree hung out the whole time. Forrest wasn't feeling the best, but I still got to see him. We got to walk around and hang out with Lars and, um, look at some, some cool stuff that they had at Arlington. And uh, he was supposed to come out and go out and party with all of us. And uh, he, he didn't make it out. And uh, one of the last things that he said to me, he said, don't worry, I'll make it up to you. Uh, because he didn't come out. He said, don't worry, I'll make it up to you. And uh, that hurts knowing that that's like one of the last things that he said to me that he thought he had to make something up, which he didn't, I didn't really care. You know what I mean? Obviously I wanted to hang out with him, but I don't know. It just hurts that that's one of the last things that he said. But uh, I was lucky enough to be able to go out to South Dakota for his services um, with Desiree and Steven was there as well. And uh, we got a, you know, we had his service and we went to Lake, God, I don't remember, some lake in South Dakota, Lake Sheridan might be the name of it, um, and we spread his ashes. Uh, and I have some pictures and video that I wanna show you guys. First, I'm gonna show you just some of the dumb clips that me and Forrest filmed together. And um, yeah, I'll show you some of the stuff that we filmed together, and then um, some pictures from his services as well as the video. So if you're not ready to see that stuff, um, I'll put like a, or I'll come back before I show the pictures from his services and stuff. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy these uh, clips of Forrest and yeah, I don't know, I just, I hope you guys enjoy seeing some stuff of him. 
Like I'm a multi-species guy. I, I'm all about just trying to go out there and find the rarest animals. The most, uh, the, it, the harder to get it is, and and the more challenging it is to figure it out. That's I guess what intrigues me. And so I'm out here trying to uh, preach getting out of ball pythons. You know, that's badass. That's what I'm passionate about. All right, and Forrest, what do you have to say about Brian? Uh, I just, I just love him. I miss him. I wish he was here. So he could smell his poopy pants. And this sexy gentleman right here. This is Forrest Fanning. What's you up, guys? guys? So leaving them. Nice hanging out with you guys. Sunday I'll be back. All right, guys. So still walking around the show with uh, nice. Mr. Forrest, just checking around some cool stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna walk around and show off some more random See stuff. What's good. Yeah, Forrest has already been around, so he's gonna yes. kind of guide me through the uh, cooler stuff here. Yeah. Craziest table here again. It's worth coming all the way out here just to see this. Table. Yeah, it's crazy variety. So now that those clips are over of just some of the dumb stuff that I filmed with him, like I said, I, we never really filmed when we were together. We kind of just hung out and, I don't know, just didn't film, I guess. But now I want to show you guys um, some of the pictures from his services, some of the video that I took. Um, some of it's kind of sad, so just, you know, be advised, I guess, that there's some sad stuff. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at that. some closure or I don't, I don't know I don't know what you guys would think of that but I wanted to take pictures and some video mainly for Desiree but also just for the people that couldn't make it I guess yeah this whole thing just sucks you know it's never easy to lose a friend um, I lost one of my best friends a couple years ago and now losing Forrest you know he was one of the very few friends that I have that I talk to frequently I mean like on a like I said an almost daily basis and now not having them both. It's just rough, it's gonna take a lot of time. Um, I'll be in Indianapolis. We had it pre-planned that I was gonna go and we were gonna mess around with all kinds of stuff at his farm in Indy in a, in a couple weeks. Um, I'm, still, I'm still going, me and Desiree talked about it. She said that I could still come and check everything out. It's just not gonna be quite the same without him there. No one really expected Forrest to be gone as soon as he was, just uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, my next video is a little bit more upbeat. Forrest, I uh, I love you, man. I wish that I was able to to see your place with you there. Um, but uh, Desiree is gonna keep the legacy going, and uh, as she said, your zoo dreams will uh, will become a reality. If you guys want to donate to uh, Forrest and Desiree, or if you want to donate to Desiree and Lars, who's their uh, their little boy, I'll put the links in the description. You guys are more than welcome to send them send them some love or send them some messages. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.